Hello and welcome. It's me, Marls44. Welcome back to another Kurt Fight Vanguard. Kurt Fight Area Deck Profile. Today's Deck Profile, we have the uh, Maelstrom that has been updated and will wreck you all day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the Maelstrom deck, uh, Maelstrom Reverse deck, whichever one you want to call it, um, has been updated thanks to the new G Clan booster and actually, uh, Maelstrom got its own update, just like Dragonic Overlord got, which is uh, actually pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Keep saying actually, oh god. Um, anyways, super strong deck, almost as good as the Thavis deck. The Thavis deck, of course, is better, but uh, almost as good, just really strong, and uh, yeah. Anyways, let's move into the deck profile. So, our starter is the man that puts the wah in Woohoo! Mario's. Not Mario. <laughs> um, so yeah, your uh, Mario's, your starter, same thing. Um, same thing as always, because, you know, getting those grade threes, making sure you ride the right stuff in order, make sure you get the cross ride. Big deal. Always. Um, and e easy fodder for, um, e easy fodder for, uh, stride. Um, and then we have four of the new Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom. Um, so what this new Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom does is his limit break is now a break ride. So limit break for kind of last one. When an Aqua Force rides it, uh, you pay the cost. If you do choose one of your vanguards, gets plus 10,000 until end of turn. And also it gets until end of turn wave, wave, eh, sorry, wave fourth time or more. Um, so the fourth attack or more than that. When this... Unit attacks a vanguard, draw a card, choose one of your opponent's rearguards, retire it. Until the end of the battle, your opponent cannot call grade zero cards from their guardian to their guardian circle. So it gets a silent time effect and it also gets the effect of retiring something, um, and you get to draw a card, which is actually really, really nice. Um because when you break ride reverse on top of him. Um you know, reverse the skill, you know, you lock something, uh, and then you get to retire uh, draw a card. It gets plus 5k and a crit, and if it doesn't hit, you draw a card and retire our opponent's rear guard. So, <laughs> here's the fact. It's coming for, if it's bo if it's not boosted, it's coming for 26k uh, when you break red verse on this thing, if you use its limit break, which you should. Um, so, it'll be coming for 26k. If it doesn't hit, it's, you get to draw a card and retire a unit. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of power, of course, um, but it puts on a lot of pressure as well. Now, if it does hit, it's an extra crit, of course, um, which is why you kind of want to make it not hit. But if it does hit, you get to draw a card, draw two cards, sorry, and retire two units. So it's it's insane what you can do with it and it's just a great card for reverse maelstrom honestly it's so beautiful for maelstrom reverse um like the perfect update and it's 13k body and ah oh, disgusting so yeah and then his other skill is wave third time or more um when this unit attack hits a vanguard, search your deck for up to one card with Maelstrom and its card name. Reveal it to your opponent, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. So, they can be used for two different things. It can be used to get re your reverse if you want to, you know, ride it. Uh, if you maybe already have another grade 3 or your stride enabler or something. Um, or if you really want to just go into stride right away. Um, which I think using this once either before your first stride or after your first stride is good before you go into land broke um, so you normally want to use the break right skill either before you stride the first time or after you stride the first time before land broke because it does put on a heck of an amount of pressure um, so after before your first stride basically um, but you can use it to get your reverse maelstrom to ride into or you can get it for you know um, just stride fodder so either or that's that's pretty handy no matter which way you want to use it and that's also a really good thing that it's a flexible skill too so that helps anyways moving on so we have three uh maelstrom reverses three of these babies 
was considering running four, but uh, three. And then we have one Glory Maelstrom. So the other deck, the Thavis deck, I explained why it doesn't need Glory Maelstrom because it really ends games and you never find a use for it. This deck, you can still kind of find a use for it on top of it being a 13k body. So that's huge. So hitting five damage and not just losing isn't as rare as normal uh, because of the 13k bodies. So that is a little helpful. Um, and I mean, this can honestly come in useful with... Uh, the break ride maelstrom because if, if anything happens and you break ride this baby you get a silent tom effect and then you use its skill to to give it its glory effect and then your opponent can't guard whatsoever so that's that's also scary so it's actually a good idea to run this card because you can end a game because your opponent just can't guard at all so it's not even that it's for well it's for ending games but it's the big thing of you, you could just end a game by break writing this. <laughs> That's pretty much what I'm saying. Um, anyways, moving on to our grade twos. So we have four Rascal Sweeper and four Tuttle Salt, same as last time. But this time we have four Blue Storm Marine General Gregorius. So we got rid of the other two uh, cards of the other guy. Um, we really don't need him in this version. This version's a little more focused on, you know, getting those multitude of attacks and everything. Um, and, well, well, what it does is, is, is just, I don't find you need the other guy. You kind of need more of Gregorius in this case, especially because of the fact that you normally use your greed threes either to ride for the cross ride, or you're going to use them as, you know, stride fodder, which is, um, pretty big, so... You kind of want to run four of these because you're never really going to call them as rear guards. So, yeah, you want to be careful with that, and that's why I changed it to four. Um, unfortunately, I can't ride high tide. I can't use high tide sniper. I wish I still could, but I just find I can't because you just. I, I wish I could still play two and two or even one and three. One and three might not be bad, but you'll rarely get high tide sniper then, um, and it's not worth. Uh, well, it might be worth it, but it might not. Um, might mess you over more than be worth it. Um, but it's just with how this deck works, it. Uh, I don't find it works because of just you need the twelve Ks to be able to switch with Rascal Sweeper. Anyways, moving on to our triggers. So we have four of a new perfect guard, Blue Storm Shield, Harmrosis, Harmrosis, Harmros. So. He, uh, he's a P-Guard. He doesn't unflip, but because you barely use Counter Blast in this deck, he has a sec he has another skill you can use, which is uh, pretty big. The only Counter Blast you really use are your one stride unit and your um, grade threes, but it's one Counter Blast for the grade threes uh, for each, so it's not much. Um, anyways, his second ability is auto wave third time or more. Uh, what it does is, ca so, sorry, soul blast one at the end of the battle. This unit is boosted. This unit boosted. If you have a Vanguard with Blue Storm in his card name, you can pay the cost. If you do, return this to your hand. So you can now use this card as a booster in case you really need a booster, and then soul blast to bring it back to hand. So you can. <laughs> so basically, if you're downing cards, have no booster, and you. So, say you have 12k beater in one world, or even title assaults, and you have nothing because your opponent killed stuff. You can just call this out, get it to boost, and bring it right back to your hand. Of course, don't abuse the skill. Only use it when you need it. Like, if you don't have another grade one, don't abuse the skill. Um, because you will run into soul, and then when you run into the time that you need it, then you won't have it. But um, definitely a really handy skill early on, maybe, when you don't have enough cards, or later if your opponent destroys your field or something so just just a really good card for this deck and then we have three Kelpie Rider Nikki now we have three um and there's kind of a big reason why actually um because the other grade ones we play in this deck and for what the break ride maelstrom can do uh with the, the with the wave hitting and you know normally n nowadays people just let the vanguard hit 
Um, and you always want to start on that, you know, break right maelstrom. Um, so when they let them hit, you know, you get the check and Marios gets the check. So you get so many uh, grade 3 fodders and your rides and stuff. So you don't need as many of these as well, you think you would. So you could play three. It's perfectly flexible. Don't play less, though, because that's too risky. Um, but it does give you a little more room for some other cards. Um, and then we have three Shortfin Mako Soldier of the Blue Storm Armada. So, you know, your limit break remover. So you can use the break ride at any time, um, which is big because you want to kind of go into it, as I said, uh, before your first stride or after your first stride because you can put on a lot of pressure, get quite a few cards, blah blah blah, right? So, um, but it's important to get this card, so you need three of them. And then finally, we have three of a new card, which is actually really good as well. Uh, kind of counts as a 12k beater, honestly. And it did kind of make me debate about the high tide sniper if I could fit in some, but uh, with how big Rascal is in this deck, um, on top of you know, you need something to go with Rascal. Like, you need some kind of 11k or higher to hit. Uh, this card and Gregorius are so huge because you need them to switch positions with Rascal to get that extra hit. So what she does, Blue Storm Battle Princess Theta, uh, what she does is when it attacks, if you have a Vanguard with Maelstrom in its card name, which you always will uh, when you're grade 3, um... It gets power plus 2k until end of the battle, and then also it's wave second time, so only the second attack. So basically, you know, you use Rascal's first time attack, and then switch it with her, I guess, um, and then have her attack, because then it'll be the second time. So when it attacks, if you have Vanguard with Maelstrom in its card name, it gains plus 3. So it basically gains 5k on the second attack. If it's just a normal attack, it can hit for 9k, it can hit a weir, weir. It can hit a rear guard if you really need to, because maybe you want somebody else to attack second that's more important. Um, and she could still swing for something to try and pressure for something, which isn't bad. But normally, you know, you use her to hit the vanguard with 12k. Um, but yeah, she's just, just a really strong support card for Maelstrom. Um, and just all-out great card uh, for this deck. She's like, she's awesome and really helps a lot especially when you don't have Gregorius because you know your opponent always picks on your regards and everything so um, she definitely helps a lot with that with that consistency of uh, having you know those multitude of attacks hitting or well getting guarded you know and then we have four blue storm marine general um, oops <laughs> blue storm marine general Despina uh, so you know your glory mails from support card which um, it's funny because with, when you don't get the break ride, you can use this card. Normally, you'll get the break ride onto Glory. Or, like, when you decide to use Glory, you either have this card or you'll get the break ride on it. It's one or the other, normally. Um, at least 80% of the time when you decide to use Glory. You don't use Glory a whole lot, but uh, when you do, yeah, you'll have one or the other, um, normally. So it's pretty awesome. So four of those, and then we have three Bubble Bazooka Draco Kid. So seven crit. Um, Maelstrom is a little slower, so I do play seven crit, and then I'll have five draw as well. So four Battle Sister Marika, and one Super Breath Draco Kid. So five draw, and then four me Medical Officer of the Blue Storm Fleet, four heal. So seven crit, five draw, four heal. Pretty standard. Not super standard, but standard enough. And then onto our um, on our stride units, we have four land broke. Four of these can't play any less. Uh, it st still works really, really well with this deck. So gotta play it. Um, and then we have two of the new card, Storm Dominator Commander Thab. As I explained in the last time, uh, basically he just he's really good in this deck, um, making sure that. If you ever, for, for one, making sure that, uh, you know, you can kind of get an extra attack off um, from the back row, uh, you know, if there's a card behind your Vanguard, or say you don't have Title Salt, but you have like two Gregoriuses, well then, slap something behind Gregorius, and 
get it to attack and um, actually that this card is a good scenario to use the perfect guard if you have it as well in that situation that I was just describing um, because it's just a good situation to do it in because uh, you know if you don't have another card to play behind Gregorius you might as well right get that nice plus 5k get it to attack from the back row um, really solid card though and like this cards crazy strong um, so yeah two of these that's all you need of course uh, sometimes it'll be first ride sometimes it won't depends on your field setup as I said the last time um, and if you don't ride him you normally ride this guy Marine General of the Heavenly Silk Arstelios to just you know pressure to re and, and get something retired um, and then in that rare scenario that you need it you have tidal board dragon to help you out you know get an extra card maybe call something rear guard if you get a good card um, but yeah yeah just in case normally you don't ride this you don't stride this card first normally it is the same as the Thavis one you either stride Astelia's Astelia's or the Thavis uh, you'll stride one of those two first um, normally but the title board is there just in case of course Anyways, that's about it for this deck profile, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time. If you guys want to see more videos from me, on the left, there are Let's Play videos, so you can go and check those out. And if you guys aren't up for that, on the right, there are Card Fight Vanguard videos, so you can go and check that out. And if you're still not up for those, I have Super Smash Bros, Pokemon, and a Versus series on my channel, so you can go to my channel and check that out. Also, down below is my review channel, where I do reviews, countdowns, game chats, which is like a podcast and more. And don't forget to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Skype, all listed at the top there. That is all. Hope you guys enjoy.